Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael Westbrook. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Today, we are going to take a look at a Marshall 2204, uh, live in the flesh, 100% organic, and probably not. We are comparing that amp to the HX Stomp and the model that is called the Brit 2204. Um, the specific amp we're using, I'm not sure what year it is. It is vintage. These were only made in, I think, I don't know when they were made, uh, but they're old. This amp later became a JCM 800. If you haven't seen them already, I've done a couple of different comparison videos similar to this one, one with a matchless C30 and another with a vintage deluxe reverb. In those videos, we compare the amp and the HX Stomp, see how close we can get them. I kind of tweak things so you can hear the difference in the two. Pretty impressive how close the HX Stomp can get to the amps, but there is a little difference. So go check them out, hear for yourself, tell me what you think. First off today, we're going to take a listen to a little demo using the HX Stomp and the 2204 model. I'll use a few different guitars, a few different settings. That'll kind of give you a feel for what the HX Stomp can do on that particular model. After that, we'll plug in the amp, a, B between the HX Stomp and the amp and see how close we can get them. Thanks again for watching. Let's get into it. So first I will talk a little bit about how we've got things set up. Right now I'm running my guitar straight into an AB box and the green channel goes to the amp and the red channel goes to the HX Stomp. The amp is running direct using a two notes captor. I'm running the two notes wall of sound software and currently I'm running into a Michael Britt um, Mars 25, what is it? 2, 2E2448. Um, and that's basically a cab IR that's kind of suited for Marshalls, um, from what I remember correctly. Here's the HX Stomp, uh, just interface, I have it connected USB, uh, but we are running out of the analog out of the Line 6 um, into my interface. I'm just using this to control it so you can see the settings. Um, you can kind of see where I have things set right now. I spent a little time trying to get them as close as I could and, uh, yeah, let's take a listen. Also, this guitar, uh, it's a Gibson 57 Custom Shop reissue uh, stock pickups. I think they're burst buckers. Um, let's take a listen. Here's the amp. <laughs> You can hear right away they're already really close. These two amps, um, and by two amps I mean the amp and the model, really were pretty easy to dial in similarly. Um, and if you've watched my one of my previous videos, the Fender Deluxe video, that one to me was a lot harder to dial in. I had to tweak a lot to get those sounding the same. Whereas this amp and the model, um, they just seem to be closer. Um, I do have them set up pretty differently. Um, as far as the EQ go goes, not way differently, 
but um, they are set up just a, a little bit different. From what I remember, much closer than the Fender Deluxe though. So let's take a look at the HX Stomp and where it's at, and then I will uh, we'll take a look at the amp. So right now, on the HX Stomp, we've got the drive at 2.1, the bass is almost all the way down, mid's almost all the way up, treble's almost all the way up, presence is almost all the way up, channel volume, you can see all these right here. I did notice as I was dialing them in, um, unlike the Fender Deluxe, the model on the HX Stomp is actually darker, um, which was kind of surprising. Typically, I have a hard time dialing out the top end, but this model is just a darker model, which I actually prefer, I think. So let's take a look at the amp and see where our settings are on the amp. Right now, we've got the presence at 12 o'clock. Bass is almost all the way down. Mid looks like it's about one or two o'clock. Treble's in about the same spot. Master volume is at three o'clock and the preamp volume is at about 10. Uh, we were plugged into the high sensitivity input. I'll post a link down in the description that has some great info on Marshalls and the different different ones. This is a 50 watt 2204, uh, what they call the rocker switch model. So you can check that out, see kind of where in the lineage it all falls and the history of all the Marshall amps and how one amp became another and et cetera, et cetera. So let's tweak the HX Stomp a little bit and see if we can get them any closer. They're already pretty close right now. We'll hear the amp one more time. HX Stomp. I found actually in but in most of the amps comparing with the HX Stomp, there's just a presence that the amps have. It's not even necessarily a brightness thing. It's just a mid kind of forwardness. I find hard to get completely out of the HX Stomp. I don't know what that is. I'm sure somebody could tell me it's a certain frequency or whatever, but it does seem consistent over all of the models that the amps just seem more forward or more in your face than the models do. But that being said, let's see if we can get this sounding closer. <laughs> bit of the bass out. <sighs> Let's go ahead and take that mid all the way up. So I do feel like at this point, we're kind of just splitting hairs. They're really close. I think with all of these amps, as you're A being back and forth, you can drive yourself crazy trying to get them to sound exactly the same. I've seen in the comments section, people saying, oh, we have to use different IRs. And man, that is a never ending path right there. If you're using one IR with the amp and a different one with the modeler, they're, you know, at this point, thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of IRs and IR combinations. And, you know, with if you're using the two note stuff, then you've got different mics, room settings and distance placement settings and all of that. It's just, it can be never ending path of trying to get them to sound the same. If you're going that route, you might be able to find a better tone doing that. If that's for you, then do it. Um, I love kind of simplifying things and just using a few IRs that I like and tweaking the amps. Um, you know, this is a cab IR that is suited for a Marshall. I think it sounds really good. I've been really happy with it. Some IRs maybe work better with a real amp. Some might work better with a modeler. Over time, I'll experiment with those things. But for now, uh, this just kind of simplifies the process, lets us really compare them head to head. I'm going to turn the gain up on the amp. I'm going to leave all the settings there. 
Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the HX Stomp. We're gonna see how closely they react with just turning the gain up. I think that this is a way to compare and see really how close they are, um, how close the circuit actually compares to how it's modeled. I know that we could go in and tweak the sounds on, you know, on the HX Stomp and probably get them closer. But I think it's interesting just as part of the conversation to see, you know, if it reacts the same. We'll start with the amp. I'm gonna bring the preamp gain up. Let's go to about one o'clock or so. All right, let's check out the HX Tom. Swap over, let's turn the gain up, or the drive. We'll go to about, let's try about six and see how that compares. All right, that seems like a little more than what the amp's doing. Let's take it back a touch. So I was going back and forth there. You can kind of hear the amp does this little harmonic thing when I stop it. Um, and the HX stomp did do that a couple times, but maybe not as easily as the um, as the amp. I don't know if that's a dry, a difference in the drive or what that is, but um, kind of interesting. Let's keep tweaking. <laughs> down just a little bit on the on the HX stomp. So there you go. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Also, I will say this is not the typical kind of amp I would play. I borrowed it from a friend. I'm not as familiar with this amp as I am with the Matchless and the Deluxe Reverb in the other videos. Those are amps that I've used for years, play them out all the time. I'm super familiar with those amps. This amp, I had to kind of get to learn a little bit. Um, also just stylistically, not totally my thing. It sounds amazing. It's just not an amp that I've used a lot. Oh, son of a... Just realized that my light was drooping the whole time. So I'm sure the lighting in this video looks amazing. Anyways, technical issues aside, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you out there.